10 Unusual Facts You Didn't Know About Nightmares A nightmare is a distressing dream that awakens you and is accompanied with negative sentiments, such as worry or terror. Children's nightmares are widespread, but they can strike anyone at any age. Nightmares are usually nothing to be concerned about. Nightmares can start between the ages of 3 and 6, and they tend to fade after the age of 10. Girls appear to have more nightmares than guys during their adolescent and young adult years. Some people develop them as adults or later in life. Nightmare disorder is uncommon, despite the fact that nightmares are widespread. Nightmare disorder occurs when dreams occur frequently, causing distress, disrupting sleep, interfering with daytime functioning, or instilling fear of falling asleep. Hi guys, welcome back to Astonishing Top 10. And in today's video, I will tell you about the 10 things you probably didn't know about nightmares. However, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Now, without any further delay, let's get into this. At number 10, we have No One Agrees About the Meaning of Dreams. Sigmund Freud was an Austrian neurologist and the creator of psychoanalysis, a clinical method for treating psychopathology that involves a patient and a psychoanalyst engaging in a dialogue. Dreams, according to Sigmund Freud, are the guardians of sleep. Louis L. Glucksmann was a former trader at Lehman Brothers and the former chairman and CEO of Lehman Brothers, Kuhn Loeb Incorporated. According to Glucksmann, he believed their aim was to control basic impulses like aggressiveness and sex. Some people believe Freud was correct, while others believe dreams have no value. Treat it as a gift and do whatever you want with it. Number 9. Dreams do not foretell the future. Everyone wants their dreams to be prophetic, Mahawald explains. You forget about 500 phone call dreams you had the night before that didn't materialize the next day. All of these dream-related prognostications are purely statistical. People are looking for meaning in these late-night tales, he explains. They want them to be magical. Hence, even if they have seen a nightmare, it's not related to the future in any way. Number 8. Dreams may help people process and consolidate memories. Harvard researchers encourage participants to explore a 3D maze and then either slumber for 90 minutes or stay up but quiet in one study. The maze was substantially easier to navigate for nappers who stated they had dreamed about it. The brain appears to encode information visually in pictures. Hence, we can say that nightmares are mostly related to recent fears and tensions in human life or future fear. Number 7. It's hard to separate the function of sleep from the function of dreams. According to Mahawald, the role of sleep is to downscale things so the brain is ready and able to learn the next morning. I believe that dreaming is something that the brain has to develop as part of the reequilibration process. If you start the day with 100 synapses and wind up with 125 by the end, you need to reorganize them back to 100, otherwise you would have 150 the next day, he adds. It would eventually become unsustainable. To fill your scale, you would need too many synapses. Number 6. The brain is still hard at work while you are sleeping and dreaming. Mahawald explains, REM sleep is not a time for the brain to rest. During dream sleep, the brain is activated at an extremely high level. The stimulus is what causes dream imagery to appear. After that, the brain's job is to make sense of what it has been given. We are confronted with the real world when we are awake. Dream imagery is delivered to the brain when we are sleeping. The brain tries to make sense of all these seemingly insignificant sights, thoughts, and sounds. All of this imagery is used by the brain to create the dream. The brain views the real world as it is when we are awake. Number 5. You may be able to change nightmares. Many therapists believe dreams may be rewritten. People suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, for example, can learn to know when they are dreaming. This is merely a dream, explains Ursula Voss, a sleep researcher and psychology professor at the University of Frankfurt. Some of her patients came up with a good idea. They build a bracelet and wear it to bed. They know it's a dream if the bracelet isn't in it, she explains. 
they search for something strange before attempting to change the dream's course. Imagery rehearsal therapy is used by Shelby Harris, director of behavioral sleep medicine at Montefiore Medical Center in New York City. With her patients, when their dreams take a terrible turn, she urges them to vividly visualize an alternative situation. One patient had recurring dreams about being surrounded by sharks and drowning. All she did was replace the sharks with dolphins, Harris explains. We came up with a completely fresh plot. Number 4. Spicy Foods May Make You Remember More Dreams and Nightmares Mahawald explains, The meal increases your chance of waking up in the middle of the night. Dream generation has nothing to do with the hefty supper. It has to do with recalling dreams. You must be awake for at least a few minutes in order to recall a dream. Lisa Medali, a behavioral sleep specialist at the University of Chicago, explains, While we are sleeping, our brain is unable to transition from short-term to long-term memory. Number 3. You remember a dream if you awake during it. Mark Mahowald, professor of neurology at the University of Minnesota Medical School and visiting professor of psychiatry and behavioral medicine at Stanford University, says, The key factor of whether you'll remember a dream is being awakened during the dream. The memory is lost if you do not wake up throughout the dream. While we are sleeping, we are listening to a self-erasing tape. Number 2. You dream throughout the night, not just during REM sleep. Forget everything you learned in college about dreams occurring solely during REM sleep. You may recall stories from the previous night. However, not all of them are equal. Dreams that occur during REM sleep, which are more common in the second half of the night, are more vivid and unrealistic. If you think you're jumping out of a plane and seeing rockets all around you, it is almost probably a REM sleep dream, says Jerry Seigel, professor of psychiatry and director of UCLA's Center for Sleep Research. Dreams in the first three or four stages of sleep are likely to be more commonplace. Number 1. No one knows for sure why you have nightmares. Charles Bay, a sleep medicine specialist at the Cleveland Clinic, says, that's the one component of sleep medicine we know the least about. I believe dreams assist people in processing the various types of sensory input that they encounter throughout the day. Some people claim to have eureka moments in their dreams. Biographer Doris Kearns Goodwin wrote in her book about Lyndon Johnson that LBJ imagined he had a stroke and became crippled, and then decided not to run for president in 1968 a few months later. He had made a decision in his dream, says Marian Glucksman, psychiatrist in New York City and Reading, Connecticut, and author of Dreaming, An Opportunity for Change. Dreams are similar to a personal journal. They're your life's nightly commentary. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comment section below. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it and press that bell icon so that you will be notified each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos that are appearing on your screen. We will see you there, take care, and stay tuned.